in Chick Fil A by News. Bye. What? Chick Fil A like Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. Bye. Bye News. Why? Submitted by Paul from Saint Paul. Oh. Okay. Saint Paul, Minnesota. 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 A dean resigned over her school's choice to not allow Chick Fil A on campus. I agree. Why? They said Chick Fil A can't be here. I can't be here either. I agree. Yep. <laughs> Is it because it makes the kids too crazy? <laughs> Just look over here wearing a hat and glasses. That happens so quickly. I know. It's <laughs> fucking Walter White. It real quick. Yeah. Chick Fil A makes kids crazy. That's what. I'm like a I'm like an Asian blues traveler. Yeah. There's so much color on that screen. Your guys' hair looks cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's all natural. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, Chick Fil A probably because uh, Chick Fil A. They got a new scandal. No, they don't like gays. Yeah. How'd you yeah. nail it? I mean, that's why, right? And so then, no Chick Fil A. Yeah. So it's a gay school. No, or uh, no. Is Chick Fil A like straight up like? Yo, we are Chick Fil A, and we don't like gays. They're, they donate to anti-gay groups. Well, the CEO. They do. Yeah. Yeah, because they're super Christian. And what does anti-gay groups like? They go out killing them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they push laws, I guess. I don't. I really. Because you know, like right. Norton antivirus kills viruses, right? What's yeah. an anti-gay group? They go out and kill gays. I don't know. It's probably for like legislation and stuff to yeah, like not get passed assuming. and things like that. Because uh, I know my, my husband and I were talking about this just the other day. How cute. Her husband. Chick -fil -A. <laughs> Her husband. <laughs> I get to say husband now. Uh, Chick Fil A. Isn't it weird? Come out. Kind of. Yeah. You're old, dude. No. Oh, I turn 74 next month. <laughs> um, Chick Fil A has come out and not say, not saying straight out like we don't like gays, but it's like it's more so like we um, want to uphold this like the sanctity of marriage mm -hmm. between a man and woman. Right. And Why don't they just focus on chicken? <laughs> I know. And open on Sundays. Sunday. Like don't like don't talk about it's it. Like, yeah, that's not your industry. That. It's hard to yeah. focus on chicken when you're steaming about gay people getting married. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it is called Church's Chicken. Oh no, it's Chick Fil A. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking Christian, so I'm like, yeah, it's oh, Church's. Is that what the Phil oh, A stands for? It's in Latin for church. I was like, wait, no, I'm, we're talking about Chick Fil A here. And it's crazy because you have like blue blockers on, and you look fucking. I don't know who you're looking at. <laughs> yeah, where are you looking? You now. Like Stevie oh. wondering that shit. Everyone's over here, but he's like. <laughs> He's like, Chick -fil -A. it's called church's chickens. Dude, I wish companies would just stay the fuck out of politics and let me just eat their fucking thing. Yeah. You know who does it right? Uh, In and Out. Like, In and Out's yeah. got like their, uh, like, John 316, like, on like their, the underside of all of their drinks and stuff, but have they made any noise about, like, where we stand? Have you seen the way they put their onions, though? It's always in a cross. <laughs> Sundays. Like They're that. open on Sundays. Is it a religious um, uh, stand to have fries that suck ass? Is that like part of their? <laughs> <laughs> Because that would make sense. If you told me that that's why their fries suck, I'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah, well, those are the fries so. that Jesus ate, though. Yeah, straight up potatoes. Fries. It's the same fries that Jesus ate. I see. So very, funny. very meek. Very, fries, very humble. Yeah. I heard he liked crinkle cut fries. Who? Oh, Jesus? From who? Yeah. Yeah. Who'd you hear that from? Out of the Bible. Nazareth, Joseph Nazareth said that. Yeah. I want, I want Chick Fil A to be hardcore like Christian everything and name everything out of the Bible on their menu. <laughs> Ezekiel milkshake. Yeah. Ew, that sounds the, gross already. The Jezebel fries. <laughs> Jezebel out of everything. You share them. <laughs> so the Jezebel fries. <laughs> Yeah, so the dean, or the former dean, of Ryder University's College of Business Administration said that her views as a very committed Christian um, and the fast food chain's views mirror one another. So the fact that this oh. university said that they will no longer be allowing Chick-fil-A to be on campus because of their opposition to LGBT community um she said that it felt like she was punched in the stomach because that's like oh fuck off because she loves her chick-fil-a because <laughs> she's a very committed christian well that's called. better for the school she just did everyone that's on that true. campus a huge fucking favor and i'll applaud to that she really felt like she got punched in the stomach yeah once they <laughs> like it hurt that's like, how she her name is she, cynthia she, newman she loves her chick-fil-a so. she looks like a chick-fil-a fan that's exactly who i picture someone with a double chin <laughs> like go home from your work and then go to chick-fil-a like, you know, I guess because she said she felt that because they were 
pretty much like banning Chick-fil-A because of their views. They're like, well, how am I? She was like, how am I going to be here she with my know. views? She didn't. So she's at university, right? Yeah. I she didn't know that shit like, 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 like people that are gay or whatever go to universities, like they get an education, a higher education. Yeah, that's true, but people that are Christian also go to universities too. And she so should have applied like, to a Christian yeah, school. Christian school. Yeah, was this a Christian right. school or it's like a no. public state school? But it's, it's almost like a state school not being diverse mm -hmm. because they're only being uh, uh, biased toward gay and not, not inclusive with Christianity. Sure. So she's not. They're not being like, okay, well, Christians have their beliefs too, and they're against Chris. They're they're against um, homosexuality or whatever. She's not letting them coexist and learn that in this world there are going to people that don't agree with you. Yeah, yeah they're they're both weird. Like yeah. both the school and her, because like the state schools and university is supposed to be a place where people from all walks of life and beliefs can come yeah. and meet each other for the first time. Mm -hmm and learn about each other, uh, accept each other, and accept that there's differences. They don't have to agree, but they that's like the first time where you get to meet like a, a devout Muslim guy or some Chinese kid that's popping pimples in the bathroom. Like there's, all, there's that's the time where you meet all these type of people and it should be okay. Yeah, I don't think banning people that I disagree with is like the coolest yeah. jam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause what if, what if there was Taco Bell and then Taco Bell gave a lot of money to the NRA or whatever? And then it's like, um, I don't know, it's just a political stance, right? It Like, how far are they going with the anti-gay groups? Like, are they- Good question. Yeah, because yeah. if they were like, all right, I'm funding a, a, a anti-gay terrorist group, that makes sense. Because there's violence, there's yeah. harm, yeah. there's all these. But if they're just battling it out through the law, to me, that's the that's what we're supposed to do, is like be civil human beings and go into the government and everyone has their different, like, policies you debate and then you battle it out through that ground yeah like true yeah. true diversity and true openness means gay is okay but anti-gay is okay too and they should be able to coexist together yeah. and, and by anti-gay you mean like people who are like who are for who like the man and woman marriage yeah, yeah I, I don't i don't even like the word anti-gay that's yeah. the, that's not yeah, what i mean more like, more like gay is okay marriage. and then traditional yeah. guy girl marriage that should be okay too, and they don't have to agree, but they should be able to coexist right. peacefully. Where, where it gets criminal is when there's like violence, when there's like, you know, holding back people's resources, or like one group can get access, but the other yeah. can't, or like whatever, you know, and I don't know. I guess the, the, the line would be like marriage, right? Where like if legally you couldn't get married because you were gay because of this group that, that lobbied and said, you know, only straights are considered you know, married or whatever, then that's where you argue that, but you should have your own gay group that fu that's funded, and then you push back and you fight it out through the law that way too. Yeah, I actually think a university is a failure if there's one predominant school of thought. Because mm -hmm. it should be multiple schools of thought all coexisting, but when they all agree on one thing, that's not what universities are. No, about. because you want to. You don't grow unless you challenge your thoughts. There's even like a lot of uh, like Christian schools out there with strong LGBT groups. Oh, mm -hmm. within their group. Oh, that's yeah. tight. Christian schools, yeah. I, I think there's still interesting uh, like lines where it's like if you're not sleeping with each other, then it's okay. But if you're still with an mm -hmm. LGBT group, that like. That's okay. Like it, like the, it's like a like behind closed doors thing where it's like no, don't sleep don't with each other. Tell, but don't sleep. Yeah, yeah it's which like, is kind of nice because they say that to everybody. <laughs> yeah, know? that's true. Yeah. They like they like, hate sex. Yeah, they don't like sex at all. Right. Yeah, that's kind of nice. It's kind of equal. Even straight people can't have sex. <laughs> yeah, they're like don't fuck at all. Barely ever fuck unless you're making a kid. Yeah, it's like, not even for pleasure. You have to have a fuck blanket with a hole in it. And then there's a big cutout of Jesus. Oh my gosh. You should be looking into Jesus' eyes while you fuck. <laughs> just, say, just, so, just so you remember, so yeah. you never forget. No, makes you sense. never yeah, forget yeah. who's watching. It makes a yeah. sense. Wow. Yeah, Isn't that so. considered a threesome? No. <laughs> <laughs> with Jesus? <laughs> That's the holy threesome. <laughs> the holy the trinity. trinity. Yeah. If Taco Bell came out and they said, I don't know, like we're, we want to fund the killing of people with colored hair, for example. Oh shit. Damn, peace out, girlfriend. I still oh, fucking love Taco Bell. It's so hard. I'd be like, oh no, this is like That's my number true. one hardest one. I'll be eating yeah. the Taco Bell. I'm sure there's a lot of gay people that love Chick-fil-A. Yeah, it's, and it's it, hard it, when that. that news hit, it was all over my timeline. 
Like all, all your like, gay friends are like, I love Chick Fil A. Like, yeah. well, I don't know what guy. to do now. Yeah, because there are no gay tongues or straight tongues. There are just tongues. True. You just taste. Mm-hmm. True. And everybody likes that Chick Fil A, man. Especially the sauce, the fucking sauce. It's so good. Buffalo's my shit. I hate when it's a Sunday and I'm craving the fuck out of Chick Fil A. I'm like, damn. It. I hate that too. Uh, I can't get over it's that. It's always a Sunday. Why is, I it, know. why is it always a Sunday? I pulled up to Chick Fil A <laughs> twice already. You did Sunday. the same yeah. thing? I don't like all that shit. Like, you ever been in a state where you can't get alcohol on a Sunday? No. No. It's fucking crazy, dude. Wait, there's, there's states that don't yeah, serve they alcohol? Call them blue laws or some shit like that? Yeah. Dry yeah. states? Dry cities? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. yeah. So then, yeah. So on Sunday, you cannot buy liquor because of, you know, religious. Wow. Religious practices. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. It's very frustrating. So it's like what you said uh, about Sunday Chick Fil A thing. It's like, dang, why is it the only fucking day I need to drink is Sunday? <laughs> but it is. Yeah. And that's because it's a football day too. I'm like, this should be a fucking religious day, anyway. And I think we should get the day off of work after the Super Bowl because that's a religious day to me. I have a question. <laughs> is it better for companies to just completely stay out of it, or because it's like it's like the 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 Jesse Smollett stuff really made like a point of we have to be careful about our biases yeah. and like in, in, making sure like if something goes with our biases that we don't go so strongly with it just because it paints a good narrative for what we believe in. Yes. And so it's like, let's say Taco Bell funds the thing that you really, really, really like. I don't like that they're going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, should they should companies just stay out of it? Should companies just be the companies or it like, you know, like if companies are like, we are advocates for purple hair, I'm gonna be like, well, shoot, I love Taco Bell now. Or like But here's my thing. Isn't it Taco Bell makes tacos and burritos and they make them real fucking well. When I hear Taco Bell want to tell me about something else, they're like, here's Taco Bell's stance on AIDS. I'm like, man, just tell me about fucking what you're making right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I well, at the, triple But chalupa. then at the same time, there's there's companies like Target that like like have forward movement because they've shown uh, like interracial couples, they've shown gay couples, and they take a stance by not taking a stance. And so it's like, should companies stay out of it? Or but is Target out there going like, hey, there's too many guns. We don't want people to have guns. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that. It's, it's not, not on the nose. It's not on the nose, they yeah. They do it in their advertisement that there's two dudes holding hands or whatever. It's like, oh, cool, that's, that's what they're about. That's yeah. cool, they're, they're cool with that. I think at the end of the day, companies just care about money. So they go, oh, if we appear like a human being and have these type of stances on certain things, that's a great way for marketing. Mm. Yep. But some people, like private companies, there are people that use their money for their passion. So it's like like Bill Gates, you know, like he's gonna use his money on his, you know, foundation. Yeah. Because he cares about it. And in some cases, it's smart marketing, right? Like the Nike thing, dude. They generated a lot of clicks and all that shit, which is what they cared about. They don't give a fuck about they the don't issue. Care about it. They want to no. make. They want to sell shoes. They want little yeah. tiny children to make shoes for them yeah. so they can sell them. So, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's to me, like you said. Yeah, they. At the end of the day, yeah, it's they about don't the give a fuck. Yeah, they just want to stay relevant and make money. I wonder if Chick Fil A. If the if most Chick Fil A's are in red states and like we have like a few like here, mm -hmm. but. Maybe we're just not the target. Demo. Mm -hmm. 